What's going on, podcasters and YouTubers? This is Hive here, one of your hosts from the Real Fan Review, coming out of Long Island, New York. Today, the fourth annual release. I'm waiting for that new trick. Yes, and with us tonight for the fourth annual release, we got my bro, your bro, Sanj. Good evening, everybody. As always, it's a pleasure to be with you. Happy we got our year. We got our man in the chair, Al. How's it going, everybody? And we got my brother, your brother, B. What's up, everyone? Yeah. And as you guys know, today, first episode of the new year. Happy New Year, just like Sanj said. First episode of the new year is always our fourth annual release. Well, not our always our fourth annual, it's always the release <laughs> where we take the last look at 2022. We give you guys and us the opportunity to vote for our favorite movies, scenes, characters, actors, all these different things. So we're going to see who wins. Me and the fellas, we find out right now as well. I think uh, we're going to a little shout out to the wifey there who always puts the answers down on paper for you know, me and Sanj, and then uh, she also puts it on the Excel spreadsheets for Al and B there. So thank you. Shout out to the wife. they live so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys need to move two minutes closer. Again. Um, so we're going to get this going. The uh, The cycle of the award show is going to be myself, Brandon, Al, and then Sanj. In that order, Sanj has his envelope. I have my envelope. And let's begin with the first. Well, award. before we begin with the first, I have yeah. to freshen my drink. Oh, allow allow how to uh, toast uh, to the new year, fellas, and everyone <laughs> listening. We got the wine going over here. Mm. Let it swash around. <laughs> and vodka is the only uh, civilized drink for an award show. There you go. Let's Water go with the guy. first award for today. Ready, guys? And my award to give out today is the Palpatine buy ticket because it sucks. It a sucks. Because it sucks so bad. <laughs> it's the movie that let us down this year. The movie we were looking forward to or the, you know, the trailers overhyped it and it actually fucking sucked. We have your nominees. Moonfall. Pixar's Lightyear. Pixar's Lightyear. Wow. Black Adam. Jesus, Black Adam. Thor, Love and Thunder. I'm surprised that's even up there, but it deserves it. Morbius and your winner in first place for the award of the Palpatine buy ticket because it sucks award. Thor Love and Thunder. Aww. First place. <laughs> Jesus, over Morbius That's and Pixar's what... Lightyear? <laughs> you guys really didn't like it, huh? I think Black Adam was the worst one out of that bunch. Not according you know, to the for rock. me was <laughs> <laughs> for me it was uh, Pixar's Lightyear, man. I was very disappointed with Pixar's Lightyear, man. I mean, listen, I get that the the jokes weren't really all that great for Thor's Love and Thunder. There was a lot of jokes, but it's kind of one of those things where, like, if you liked, uh, what was it? Th- what was the second one called, uh, Sanj? Uh, that was uh, dark, uh, dark. No, no, not dark so, so, I'm sorry, the third one there. Oh, oh, Ragnarok. oh third one was um, Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I, you know, I, I, Ragnarok kind of got the same thing. I think I, I like Ragnarok more than Love and Thunder. Oh, definitely. Definitely. But, but, but I uh, like Love and Thunder. Yeah. So I definitely like Love and Thunder. I know that was on his top 10 list uh, of last week there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, you guys called him. And Al, any thoughts on uh, Thor Love and Thunder getting the the Palpatine by tickets because it sucks? Yeah. Actually, I'm a little surprised because, I, I mean, it's not, it wasn't one of my favorites, but right. I didn't think it was worse than Morbius. Yeah, <laughs> I don't I know think, if uh, any of was our worse fans are. <laughs> <laughs> our fans are a little bit uh, hold grudges on Marvel yeah, there. Geez. Yeah, Jesus, Thor, Love and Thunder, <laughs> B Dog. What award are you giving out right now? Oh, I've got the, you know, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Award. So the movies that surprised oh. us this year. So we Some have. Some movies you thought were gonna suck. <laughs> oh, there was a lot that I thought was gonna suck. So. <laughs> So our nominees for this one are Uncharted, The Lost City, DC's League of Super Pets, Beast, (laughs) and Prey. 
interesting. <laughs> and the winner <laughs> of the, you know, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be award goes to Uncharted with almost half the votes. Wow. 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 You guys, I guess people really didn't have high expectations. <laughs> Dude, those trailers, Uncharted. those you trailers know, suck, man. <laughs> it's like it's, and video game adaptations don't really go well. So I, uh, I thought it was going to suck pretty bad too. <laughs> But it was fun. It was okay. But I mean, Tom Holland is so cute. No. <laughs> Especially when he tries to play an adult. <laughs> right? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> you know, I, I thought I was going to have the biggest beef with it because I'm a huge Uncharted fan from the, the, you know, the game series. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that Tom Holland was Nathan Drake, I'm like, I could see it. But like the, the young version and... You know what? I'm not gonna not for nothing. I did enjoy my time watching that movie. The movie had a couple surprises in it and a couple things I did enjoy. So yeah, man, Uncharted did surprise me too. Hmm. I, I like that Mark Wahlberg was originally Nathan Drake, <laughs> 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 and they were like, "Sorry, yeah. this movie's been in production for about ten years. You're too old now." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Al, talk to me, brother. What award are you giving out right now? Right now, I got the third award, which is the movie we're looking forward to the most for next year. Ooh. Yeah. 2023? And, yeah. And, and right now, uh, for this category, our nominees are Creed 3. Yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, uh, John Wick 4, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. And with 54.5% of the vote, Ooh, it looks like gosh. the majority of everybody is looking forward to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Really? Oh, sorry, you do see that. <laughs> I see that. It's Spider-Man. They've been great. The Spider-Man movies have been great. The, listen, that, that Spider-Verse, the first one was amazing with, yeah. with uh, uh, Miles Morales there, that introduction to him. That was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But was more than... like. I know for me, Creed Three is it, and I, I thought Ant oh, Man, yeah. I thought oh, Ant Man yeah. Quantumania was going to be it, but wow, Spider Man, mm -hmm. nah, the, the for cartoon. Me so, you, so with Creed Three, you know, this big beef with Rocky. I mean, with um, Sylvester Stallone, yeah, um, huge and, beef, uh, and yeah, he yeah. doesn't like the direction they're going or something like that. It's not. It's not only that. The um, they didn't even ask him. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, but it's not only that. It's mostly be. I think the producer, whoever owns the rights to to um, the Rocky series. Yeah. Um. Won't one won't give it back to them, and two they're just giving their their like kids executive producer credit so that they can make money off of it and and yeah. whatnot. So that's one of his big beefs as well. Yeah. We well, you, you know his big beef should be with then himself for signing the fucking contract. Yeah. Don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> don't let Dave Chappelle hear you, bro. Dave Chappelle will will give will, will give you a talking to oh, when it comes my, to signing the contract. My you know. favorite is uh, they they were in talks to give Dolph Lundgren like his own spin off movie from the Creed series. Yeah. He was like, "Fuck yeah!" And then Sylvester Stallone called him. He goes, "Dude, really? He's like, <laughs> you're trying to take a piece of my pie too." <laughs> He should he's be, like, you're I'm picking sorry. my bones too. Damn. <laughs> he's like, I'm if they sorry, give I didn't contract, know. they give contract. <laughs> I must break contract. <laughs> <laughs> you break you. Oh man, Sanch, you got our fourth award for today. All right, sir. our what first, is, our fourth there? movie. And you know what? This that's a perfect segue into that's a the that's a real dick move, bro. Award for the worst <laughs> dick move in movies this year. Uh, one, after saving her life, Chloe double crosses Nathan Drake in Uncharted. Simon leaves his fiance and marries Lynette after being introduced by his fiance, Death on the Nile. Young Groove buys ice cream with the minions to eat in front of people trying to lose weight. The <laughs> minions rise of grudge. Grunge. Um, bad guy's plan was to have crustaceans. Crustaceous period locusts kill off crops, causing world hunger. Jurassic World, Dominion. <laughs> and finally, Nate, uh, Neymar flooding Wakanda, killing many, including Queen Ramunda, and telling Shuri, see you next, bury your dead. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Black Panther, Wakanda forever. And with 42.9% of the vote, Ooh. the winner is... Namor flooding Wakanda, killing many, including Queen Ramonda, and telling Shuri, hey, bury your dead. I'll see you in a week. <laughs> Black Panther. Yeah, that was a real dick move. It, it was, was you so know what? real it, for it, that. 
It wasn't such a dick move until he was just like that last sentence. I re- I remember Al telling me the next day because I couldn't see the movie that that night we you guys went, and I was just like, "Yo, this is a scene where Namor says something to Shuri." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "When you see it, yeah. you'll know." Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> yo, because in the moment I was like, "Yo, that's fucked up." <laughs> you see? <laughs> you see? Yeah. That's a I, think, thick I think when it happened, me and Al just looked at each other. We were just like, like damn. The fuck? Jeez. Hey. <laughs> that was Don't the realest shit God, I ever heard. Damn. <laughs> really shit I ever heard. He's like, you're you're the queen now. Bury your dead. I'll be back in a week. You're welcome. <laughs> you're... Oh, now wow. I'm fly off of my ankle feathers. <laughs> <laughs> ankle feathers. Dude, those oh, shits are man. flapping so fast, dude. <laughs> the physics on that is completely is completely uh, oh, ridiculous. Oh, shout out to movies. Oh god, <laughs> those work so hard. Shout out to movies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go to the uh, fifth award here for tonight. We have the I damn near peed myself funny line or situation award for 2022. Your nominees are. Watching Eric McGainey's reaction to each nut shot he got <laughs> from the Nagono punch to the Saban hockey puck in the nuts. <laughs> Jackass forever. Uh, in order to multiverse jump, the security guard and the other guy kept trying to jump and sit on the butt plug looking award. Everything. Or- <laughs> I can't even say that shit. Everything everywhere all at once. Butt plug looking award. I can't believe I wrote that. Uh, ladybug doing the Peter Griffin on his shins after bumping it during a fight. Uh, <laughs> that shit was I just watched that again. I was uh, fucking dying. <laughs> um, my dog, oh, my dog dry humps my legs so much I have a callus on my shin. Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> Merton the turtle keeps mentioning how she doesn't see shit <laughs> in DC's League of Super Pets. <laughs> she did say that a couple of times. She's like, I don't She's see, so and then it was just cut. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite right there. I voted for Merton right there. Oh, I hate these, man. We get ties, man. Tied. So the tie goes to the runner. in order of the multiverse jump, the security guard and the other guy keep trying to jump on the butt plug looking award. And Ladybug doing the Peter Griffin on his shins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, my mine was Myrtle. Myrtle from DC's League of Super Pets. That it was funny because it's supposed to be a kid's movie. And she came and said, I don't see shit. <laughs> but yeah, man, that, that, the, I don't know if you guys got a chance to see everything everywhere all at once. But no. when that scene happens, I was like, what the fuck are they doing? Because you see them. Because if you see the movie, every time they in order for them to multiverse jump in their mind. They have to do something to themselves that's weird, like pull a a, a a hair off their nose or slap some slap themselves or eat something spicy. And they were looking at this award and I'm like, what are they going to do with the award? And I saw my man do a flying jump <laughs> holding his legs to sit on the damn award. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I know when Al sees this movie, he's going to fucking lose oh, it. <laughs> Just hearing the yeah, description he's it already. made me <laughs> choke. <laughs> it's just fucking crazy. If you see it, you know what you saw. Oh, uh, <laughs> B-Dog, what's up? What's your next award there, sir? Uh, mine is the, oh my God, how annoying award. And there are a lot of fucking annoying moments in movies this year. Let me tell you. <laughs> we got the best five. Four. We got the best five. Let's see. So our nominees are Buzz not trusting anyone but himself on his missions throughout the entire movie. <laughs> that was annoying. <laughs> it was so fucking annoying. And then Jake Jill. Oh, this one got me too. Jake Gyllenhaal overacting and yelling throughout the entire movie ambulance. I swear he only acted in one one like volume the entire movie. <laughs> Close the door. Check on the nurse. <laughs> Open the heart. I was like, what are you screaming at, bro? You're in the same movie. You're in the same band. Oh my god. <laughs> All the jokes in Thor Love and Thunder, which were pretty terrible. <laughs> uh, M- Mare, the oldest daughter, almost coming across as the villain in the movie with all the complaining during the beast. Yeah, <laughs> I voted for that one for sure. <laughs> Dude, she was terrible. <laughs> all the Black Adam one liners and stoic looks throughout the movie, Black Adam, which was also very terrible. <laughs> and the winner for the Oh My God, How Annoying award goes to 
all the jokes in Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I saw that coming. You did? I saw that coming. I feel like you and I were the only two people in America who saw Beast, so. <laughs> <laughs> and you do. We used to love that theater. Like, yo, she was the villain of the movie. <laughs> she was terrible. She, she was kept... Loki. <laughs> <laughs> she was bad. Dang. <laughs> I don't. Oh. I don't know if that was as bad as the the ending fight between the the lion <laughs> and the, and, and, and yeah, Idris Elba and Idris Elba. Oh the, man! When he came out with the with the stupid the stupid knife, mm. <laughs> and we're like, ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin the movie for everybody. Like yeah. you said, you and I are the only ones that see it. Give everybody a chance. Only back. to in America. <laughs> <laughs> Al, what was the award you got there, brother? All right. Well, I got the well. How convenient was that award? No, Worst Al hates case of hey. things just happened to working out. Yeah, Al hates that shit. Oh, He's like, okay. okay, I could, I could suspend belief for only so long. Yeah. <laughs> I draw the line at, fe- at, at, at feathery ankles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our nominees for this award are. Um, not one single parent besides the sheriff being in the entire uh, movie while the kids are getting killed and scream. <laughs> Every power Morbius begins to use without training or trying it out after being disabled his whole life in Morbius. <laughs> Naru and her tribe um, having a flower that could cool down their body temperature in a Predator movie, Prey. <laughs> Naniska tries to giving away and get rid of her daughter and that child ends up back in her village gets into the army and is awesome at fighting the woman king. Loretta's publicist just so happens to be rounding the island while the police at that exact place and time where Loretta and Alan escape the lost city. And the winner... Okay, I'm not surprised with this one. Not one single parent besides the sheriff being in the entire movie while the kids are all getting killed to scream. <laughs> Yo, all these kids died and no parents. Man. Not one. The only one the who house party. Die. Not even the one the that one... got killed in his house. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was, I was, I was definitely in the movie theater. Like, they, where the parents, man? Damn, kids. These are high school kids, right? These They're are high not school that kids. old. They didn't learn. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? You, have you guys seen Euphoria? No. no. You know, yeah, watch that. You want to talk about where are the parents? Oh my god, <laughs> that, that that shit is scary. That that shit scared as mm. a parent. Mm-hmm. Al's got mon- Al signs got monitors all over the house now. <laughs> yeah, I'm For real, that kid with the cameras, yeah. Oh shit, Sanj, what award are you giving out there, sir? All right, let's see. Award number eight. They pulled the okie doke on us. Award best trailer switcheroo. Mm. Yeah, first one is Morbius trailer highlight- highlighting Spider Man and Spider Verse, but it's not in the movie. Morbius. <laughs> uh, Top Gun Maverick trailers. Made the movie look like it was just a rehash of the original. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> they put Prey straight to Hulu, and it was really good. Avatar, tr- to Avatar 2 trailers made it seem like the bad guys were the water tribe of Pandora. Everything Everywhere All at Once trailers didn't sell us on how good the movie actually was. And the winner is... The Morbius trailer highlighting Spider Man and Spider Verse, but it's not in the movie. That was yeah, a that was huge pretty, letdown. That that, that, that was the okie doke to get us in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of okie dokes to get us in there. Uh, yeah, these guys better, better be careful too, because that court case that that you know, I was just about to say that, man. The new court case out there is showing that uh, what was it that there was a movie there with a trailer of an actor or actress that Anna was in the, the movie. Was they used her clips in the trailer, but they never used right. her clips in the movie, right? So and her fan club suit, right? The it was fan, her fan club, club suit, and they won. I, I think, yeah, I think I don't, I don't mind. I think that I think they're absolutely right because if you put a trailer with a with mm-hmm. a certain um, actress in it, the actress or actor um, is the is the draw. Mm-hmm. I came to see this actress, or I came to see this actor, and they're not even in the movie. So you know, you you did commit fraud. Mm-hmm. I hear you, man. What do you think about them with Marvel? The way Marvel does their trailers, <laughs> I think they just do too many trailers. They should just start announcing their <laughs> movies, and that's it. That's it. Just announce the movie. That's how Brandon's agreed. I was like, yeah. Just tell me when to show up. <laughs> That's it. Give me a date. That's it. Yeah. I don't want to know right, nothing. Man. 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right. The next award we're going to give out is the he or she is definitely trying to get it award. <laughs> and my wife put a little note for me. Just curious, trying to get to know, trying to get what exactly? <laughs> what are they oh, getting? Oh, the innocence. <laughs> a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, your nominees are Batman starring in staring in the rearview mirror, watching Selena drive away in the Batman. Maverick lingering on the door waiting for an invite in for Top Gun Maverick. Channing Tatum asking if he can do the sex thing in Bullet Train. (laughs) (laughs) That was the sex thing? Is this the sex thing? (laughs) (laughs) It was hilarious. Oh, Valentina DeFontaine telling Everett Ross she's going to jump on his Peloton. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. (laughs) Unnecessary. (laughs) That was so crazy. Loretta taking a long look at Naked Allen, the lost city. (laughs) And your winner for the he or she is definitely trying to get it award. Channing Tatum asking if he can do the sex thing. Bullet train. <laughs> well I mean, deserved. Chan- I mean, Channing Tatum had, uh, you know, he had he, he, he was the odds on favorite here. He had two chances here. Two chances. Be, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> but do the sex thing do we were rolling in the that sex thing. <laughs> yes. Is it the sex thing? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he legitimately asked like three times, and then when he saw uh what was it, tangerine, he was like, Are, are we doing the sex thing? <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. That movie was great. <laughs> that shit was great. <laughs> Brandon, what award are you giving out next, sir? I've got the manliest shit I've seen this year award. Oh, <laughs> give it to me, B. There, Is it no, the sexting? Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Our nominees are Batman beating the shit out of anybody doing something they shouldn't be. Dude, that whole opening was boom, dirty. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I gotta look into my. I gotta look in the corners too. Like any shadows, like oh shit. Bench. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't throw away that one paper towel. He's going to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I know it hit get, the floor, but I walked get, away. Get fucked up by emo Batman. <laughs> you didn't put the toilet seat down. We <laughs> 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 got Maverick doing the trial run in two minutes and 15 seconds after training the team to do it in three. That was pretty dirty. That was, that was dirty. That was crazy. Said. I don't ask you to do anything I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Finny mans up and takes on the grabber in the black bone. Badass. No. Badass. Dr. Ian Malcolm distracts the... Is it Giganto or Giganto? I'd say Giganto. I, I always thought it was Gigantosaurus, right? <laughs> but I thought they said Giganto, and I was really upset about it. Me too. So I remember that. I remember no, that. It, it was Giganotosaurus. Giganot. That's stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> Gigantosaurus. Gigantosaurus. I agree with you. It should have been Gigantosaurus. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Giganotosaurus. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. All right. <laughs> so he distracts the Giganotosaurus <laughs> so everybody can get away Jurassic World Dominion. And then Dr. Nate Samuels fights a lion to save his daughter. That she was not manly at all. He got, he got fucked up. Come on, man. He stood up for his daughters, man. That's man. He's like, oi, right oi, lion, lion, oi. <laughs> My man, at, at one point, the lion bit his goddamn neck. And he oh. was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not manly <laughs> you're right buggered me lion hey hey <laughs> bruv bruv bro. come here bruv <laughs> exit fam exit <laughs> exit and, fam and the winner of the manly shit I've seen this year goes to Maverick doing the trial run in two minutes yeah. and 15 yeah. seconds yeah buddy yeah that's right buddy dude, dude. when he was fucking I, like, I knew it was a simulation but just him fucking whipping the plane back and forth for the ca- for the canyons, quote unquote. I was mm. like, oh shit, oh that's tight. <laughs> <laughs> and like how his neck was all up, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite was he was like, you know, the whole time they're training to do it in three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Th- 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 that was the you got to get it done. He says, set the clock for two minutes and fifteen seconds. I was like, yo, he's been lying the whole time. <laughs> 
He's like, we actually only have two minutes to get this done, even though we've been training for three. And Yo, barely making it. That was nuts, man. Mm-hmm. Al, talk to us, brother. What What's your award there? All right. So the next one is the Goddamn She Fine Award. No. Yeah. No. Who's fine, Al? <laughs> so the first, Let him know. No, the first nominee here is Helen Brand, played by Janelle Monae in Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery. Mm. Mm. Cam, All you got to do is say Janelle Monae. <laughs> Cam Thompson, played by Isa Gonzalez in Ambulance. Naru. Uh, by Amber Mid-Thunder in Prey. Nakia by Lupita Nyong'o in Black Panther, Bruh. Wakanda Forever. Bruh. And Lynette Ridgway, played by Gal Gadot, Death of the Nile. Death on Sasha the Nile. had to vote for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> they all win. They Bruh, all win. Sasha was like, yo, for each one. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? <laughs> no, that's why they're in there. That's okay. the nominees. <laughs> All right, and the winner for the goddamn she fine award is Lynette Ridgway, played by Gal Gadot, Death on the Nile. Hey, nah, hey, not I in get, that group. Not in that. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I get not it. Group. I, I get it, but <laughs> if if it's <sighs> Gal Gadot in Justice League and we're putting her up against the rest of the Justice League, sure, <laughs> yes, but not in that group. No, y'all didn't see. Nikita, I'm surprised. I'm surprised yeah, Anna didn't Darvis didn't make the list. Yo, Lupita in that. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> what movie was Anna Darvis in? Armis. She was in um, the Gray Man. She was in. Oh, uh, I didn't see the Gray what, was, Man. what was that movie, movie that we in. saw? <laughs> I'll pick one. <laughs> yeah, t- I'll yeah, pick t- one. <laughs> Bond. Yeah. Bond, that would have been there. It is. Yeah, Bond. but Bond was last year. Bond ended last year. Oh. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Sanj, which one do you got? Because I'm I'm assuming now because we just did the goddamn she fine. I always get this award. <laughs> and I love that I always get this award. The I'm comfortable in my masculinity, so I can say he all right award. <laughs> And our nominees are Nathan Drake, played by Tom Holland. I can see that. He's so cute. <laughs> Thor, played by Chris Helmsworth in from Thor Love and Thunder. Yeah. Mighty Thor. No, not Mighty Thor. <laughs> you um, flick too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, played by Ryan Reynolds, The Adam Project. Alan um, slash Dash, played by Channing Tatum in The Lost City. And Randall, played by Shamar Moore from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And the winner is Adam, played by Ryan Reynolds. And, you know, one of the things, Hop, I love about um, your your wife uh, setting up these things is that the notes that she leaves (laughs) on the... uh, (laughs) What did she write? She wrote... So the thing is, so when I opened it up and looked at it, obviously I see it first, right? So I know who the winner is. And immediately I thought to myself, Really? And then I looked down at her note and she and it has a star. I couldn't believe it either. You know? <laughs> so it's like she's here talking to me. <laughs> it's hilarious, man. She... Really? I mean, on this list, I would have voted for Nathan Drake. I mean, Tom Holland here uh, yeah. on this list. But uh, you could give it to anybody on this list. I mean, Ryan yeah. Reynolds is a good looking guy, too. And, he, you know, he's got that, you know, weird yeah, charm. Yeah, but, but again, it's that, that Adam project. I don't know. I. Listen, I saw the Lost City, and I, I was just like, Jesus Christ, Channing Tatum, save some for us. <laughs> All right, he might be rivaling. Save Chris, some uh, for us, brother. <laughs> Chris, he might be rivaling Chris Evans for uh, America's ass. You know, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> son. Oh my God, I'm I got mad, the. I'm mad that your first thought was seeing Jesus Christ, Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to do the fucking Magic Mike three prep. <laughs> <laughs> That's just you. That's just you. That's just gonna be me, guys. Just me on that one. So on the last, all right, two. all right, all right. <laughs> Wingo, man. <laughs> oh my god. Was it? Was it? Was it Magic Mike Three? The Last Dance? What was it? No, this. Yes, this is the last dance. <laughs> the, last the last tease. Dance. I think it called it, it the Magic Mike Three: The Last Direction or something like what is it? <laughs> Dude, the last damn. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, here we go. Next award we're gonna give out to is to the best supporting actor in movies this year. And we got some good nominees here. We got 
Walker Scoble, who played young Adam in the Adam Project. He killed it, man. He really came off like little, uh, yeah, little Adam. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson's Tangerine Bullet Train. Oh, Tangerine killed it. Oh, yes. Brian Tyree Henry, who played Lemon in Bullet Train. We got Winston Duke playing Mbaku, mm. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And we also have Tena Huerta from Namor mm. or Namor, Black Panther, Wakanda Namor. Forever. <laughs> All right. So your winner for Best Supporting Actor this year, 2020, well, 2022, not this year, no more. Surprisingly, Walker Scoble, young mm. Adam in the Adam Project. Well yeah. deserved, big young man. Mm. Well deserved. Goop, I don't know. Goop, God. Goop, goop, God. <laughs> I don't Boom. know, man. Winston, Winston, Winston Duke and um and Tanak Huerta, they carried that movie, man. Yeah, um, man. I, I don't know. It's tough, man. <laughs> you know, I think me personally, I went for Tangerine on that one, man, because I love Bullet Train and I love the yeah, way he came off the entire yeah. movie. Yeah. Uh, Al, who'd you vote for in the burst, the best the, supporting for the actor? kid? I did vote you for the did, kid. yeah. Because okay. I figured at his age, it's hard. I, like you're still trying to figure yourself out. So imagine being able to so accurately portray someone else, let alone right. an adult. You know That's what I'm saying? Fair. So You're I said, right. you know what? For him to pull that off so well, so that you really believe that's a young Ryan Reynolds, I was like, I got to give it to him. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, doggy. Yeah. I definitely understand that. B dog, you have the next the award, best sir. supporting actress. Mm. So our nominees are Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle from the Batman. Mm. We have Stephanie Sue from Everything Everywhere All at Once. We have Janelle Monet from Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, Joey King, The Prince in Bullet Train, and Angela Bassett, Queen Ramunda mm. from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. She killed. And Man. we have a tie. Oh, okay. I'll take a tie for this one. Our tie is between <laughs> Angela Bassett and, and Stephanie Sue. Oh, everything over or all at once. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad yeah. Angela Bassett's in there. Yeah. Because yeah. she she killed it yeah. as, as Queen Ramon. It's a shame it has to be as a supporting actor. I not though. given everything. Oh. Ho, ho. Yeah. Yes, you have. <laughs> including all your acting chops. Because I <laughs> believed you. She I threw it all you. out there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, she done kicked out the Nike era. I called her by the real name, not even her acting name. <laughs> she <laughs> kicked out the Nike era. <laughs> <laughs> from the <laughs> uh, from the tribe, not from the tribe. From uh, what's the group? What are they called? She, she kicked her out the movie. <laughs> she, <laughs> get the fuck out! <laughs> get the fuck out! You done fucked up too many times. <laughs> you lost my daughter. You crazy? <laughs> there goes your casting uh, credit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Damn. All right, Brandon. <laughs> Damn, Damn man. we took it there. We yeah, yeah, keep, 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 keep it going, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Al, talk to me, man. What you got there? All right, so we got the best villain this year in the movie. Oh, okay. So we got a couple of nominees here. We got Ghostface Killers, Richie and Amber and Scream, The Riddler, The Batman, <laughs> The White Death in Bullet Train, The Grabber in The Black Phone, and Colonel Quaritch in Avatar: The Way of Water. Mm -hmm. And pull up. <clears throat> Namor didn't make that list because well, he's like was an he? anti villain, no? Yeah, anti hero, anti villain. Yeah, yeah. Anti hero. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All yeah. right. Forgive me. Forgive my uh, interruption. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the, the the winner is okay. The Riddler from the Batman. Yeah. Bruce. Yeah. Whoa! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> No! no! This is not supposed to go! <laughs> oh, you're not as bright as I thought. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, how about this? What was our reaction when they showed us who the Riddler was in the coffee shop? We were like, what? <laughs> We're like, they finally got the Riddler right. <laughs> He's a tech guy, yeah. You got the IT guy. <laughs> He's like, hi, guys. That guy just put Ooh. us on Google Drive uh, last week. Nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
Son, what award are you giving out here, sir? Well, now that we've had the best villain, we must have the best hero of oh. the year. And I am I am so delighted that I got this one. Uh, and our nominees are Batman from The Batman. <laughs> Sonic from Sonic the Hedgehog. Thor from Thor, Love and Thunder. <laughs> Naru from Prey. No, and Shuri no. from the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. What's that? Oh, no, like Naru he said Naru, Naru from Naru. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of them were Batman from the Batman, Sonic from Sonic. <laughs> and our winner is, and it just delights my heart, your guy, our guy, my guy, Batman. Yeah. From the bat. Yeah, he he he, he I, I gotta tell you guys, he he surprised me, man. I I don't know what I expected, but I didn't expect that movie, man. So shout out to my little sister who had the um the most accurate description. Uh as Batman, he was incredible and he looked incredible, and he's probably the meanest looking Batman ever. As Bruce Wayne, he looked like a wet cat. <laughs> <Wet cat. laughs> For it was always raining. <laughs> I still can't get branded out of my head when, when we talk about Batman scooting out <laughs> when he went to the Batmobile. <laughs> when he was lying on the floor, scooting over, like, oh, here we go, here we go. You know, I just, I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> I just rewatched Batman like maybe three days ago, and it, the car doesn't stall out. I know everyone thinks that the car stalls out, but he revved the engines to kind of like, like yeah. almost like your move, Penguin. <laughs> I thought the car stalled out too, guys, but I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but that's not what happened. All right, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> or he just like he's like pushed away on one leg you know like <laughs> he's like scooting back <laughs> yeah he was laying on the floor and all of a sudden he's in the car how'd you get that Batmans how'd you get that Batmans <laughs> my award to give out is the best on screen team in movies for 2022 and your nominees are Selena Kyle and Batman in The Batman Loretta and Allen, The Lost City. Maverick and Rooster, Top Gun Maverick. Thor, Mighty Thor, Korg and Valkyrie in Thor Love and Thunder. And Shuri and Okoye, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. And your winner for best on-screen team, and you guys must be smoking something out there, <laughs> is Thor, Mighty Thor, Korg and, Korg and Valkyrie. Is your best on screen team? Are you what guys? My man was a pile of. It was just like it wasn't even a whole pile of rocks. It was, it was just, just like the face. rocks that make his face. <laughs> what? And he was a no, bad guy. That guy did no, great. No, he wasn't a bad guy. He's a good guy. No, back too. Didn't they carry him back? Oh, back. <laughs> oh, I thought you said he's a bad guy. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You guys picked Thor over freaking Selena Kyle and Batman. Over anyone, I think, uh, you know what they they needed they needed to bone like they they just were doing their like yeah, angsty little teenager thing the whole time like just go 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 ahead and bone like come on you know yeah man I guess you know you Marvel heads I get it mm. I get it ah oh, that that that's the one that let me down every every year we have one or two that lets me down with the voting and that, that was one of them man yeah. oh it's all right rig out. Al, what was your best on-screen team, man? Uh, that Selena Kyle and Batman, because you yeah, know, that that made the movie, man. Yeah, well, that, I mean, you always knew movie. that there was, was a chemistry part between part. Batman and Catwoman, but that one you felt it. So I, I was like, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I thought you you uh, liked the uh, Loretta and Allen in uh, the Lost City. No, that that was a funny one. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, anybody, if you haven't seen the Lost City, go yeah. watch it. Have low expectations. But go watch it. You're gonna, watch. <laughs> you're gonna laugh. Oh my god, B Dog, talk to me, man. What what award are you giving out right now? I've got 
the best horror movie this year. Uh oh. And our nominees are Scream 2020, not to be confused with Scream 5, <laughs> The Black Phone, Smile, mm-hmm. Hellraiser, and Halloween mm-hmm. Ends. And our winner is Unbill, Unbill, Unbill. The Black Phone! Yeah. Well deserved. Yeah. Black Phone was that, awesome, man. That shit was great. Fucking love yeah. that movie. That, that movie was so close to being great. I can't figure out what it needed to be great. But that movie was so close. Yeah. For me, at least, you know. Crazy, man. Yeah. Horror movies, man. Hopefully, they, I mean, you guys heard how many horror movies are coming out next year. Oh, okay. Signs the Exorcist. Are you for real right now? Well, weren't we complaining at one point that were no like really good like horror movies? Uh, yeah. Horror movies, horror and movies coming out. Yeah, yeah. But still no comedies, but at least horror movies seem to be coming yeah. back. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of horror movies, people, we got next week's episode Megan review. All right, <laughs> <laughs> let's go Blumhouse. <laughs> Al, what's the next award you're giving out there? All right, so the next one on the list is the best sci-fi movie this year. Mm. And our nom- oh come on I can't believe one of them no. our nominees the <laughs> Adam Project Moonfall Nope Prey and Avatar the Way of Water this will be interesting they consider that a sci-fi movie? okay all right uh, and the winner is Nope wow yeah sci-fi okay. movie of the year Nope hmm. okay. I can rock with it. Now, son, you said you don't, you don't think Avatar is a sci-fi, though, more of like an adventure kind of thing, right? Add like fantasy adventure. Yeah, right. I guess because they had to travel through space to get there. There's a spaceship in it. It's science fiction now. Like, it's like a space opera. <laughs> oh, man. Sci-fi. That's another one I love. When, when, when sci-fi is good, it's good. Oh, yeah. I love sci-fi. Yeah. Science, talk to me, brother. What's the award you're giving out right now? All right. We have the best animated movie this year. Okay. And our nominees are Pixar's Turning Red, The Bad Guys, <laughs> DC's League of Super Pets, Strange World, and Minion, The Rise of Grunt. Groot. Our... Well, uh, listen, I'm just reading off the paper, bro. <laughs> if it's, if it's wrong correct. on the paper, then... <laughs> Auto correct. It's like, what is a group? The rise of Gru. Okay. I thought so, but I'm just like, maybe I got it wrong. The <laughs> rise okay. of Seattle Grunge. Oh, and the winner is <laughs> 1992 was a good year. 30 years ago. Yeah. Wow. Um Pixar's turning red, the winner. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Turning red was awesome, man. I really like turning red. Turning red was really cool. Yeah. Was there any Can't debate for you guys that sweet. that was about periods? <laughs> yes, it was a thousand. It was absolutely about periods. About periods. <laughs> yes, a thousand percent. It was a thousand. Yeah, I would agree 1, with B a thousand percent. percent. Yeah, <laughs> I would one thousand percent agree with B's one thousand percent assessment. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and here we go. The award we're giving out now for 2022 is the No Wait. Seriously, what the fuck award? <laughs> <laughs> something that either award. something that either confused us or we were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Your nominees are. So wait, they in the Matrix now? Don't worry, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I like that movie. That's sci-fi. <laughs> that was crazy, right? That maneuver that the enemy Meg pulled on Maverick to avoid the missile. Yeah, what the fuck? What was the that? fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> That shit spun and dipped. I was like, what? Like, how uh, do you even do that? That was like that was like a double pits to chesty. <laughs> <laughs> Your third nominee, the fertility doctor did what? How many siblings are out there? <laughs> Our father, documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Nine that UFO- two and counting. That shit was so crazy. <laughs> that UFO turned into what? Nope. <laughs> and your last nominee. The plan to take out Namor was over the ocean. <laughs> Black Panther Wakanda forever. And your winner for the... No, wait. Seriously? 
what the fuck award is that maneuver that the enemy make pulled on Maverick to avoid a missile. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well deserved. Well deserved. Because that was some crazy shit I've never seen before. So, I, don't what, even, I can't even begin to think about that. the physics of how you would pull that off in an airplane. <laughs> he avoided the missile. Bottom line. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And the best part is, usually they say shit like that for like the hero to get away. Yo, that was the bad guy in the movie that did that. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man. B, what award are you giving out now? I've got the Michael Jordan that made it personal for me award. And I love that award. I, that award it. is always great. <laughs> Our nominees are Namor telling Shuri, Burn your dead, mourn them, you're the queen now. Be back in a week. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That made Colonel Quaritch <laughs> kills one of Jake and uh Neytiri's sons, Avatar the Way of the Water. Spoiler for those who haven't seen it. Ghostface kills Dewey, making it super personal for Sydney and Gale in Scream 2022. Most of the women in the town are being held captive by their husbands. Don't worry, darling. And every one of the, the disruptors lied on the stand to keep their own livelihood going. Glass onion, knives out. And the award goes to, once again, name more telling Shuri. Bury your dead, more yes. them. You're the queen now. Be back in a week. That shit was dirty. <laughs> that definitely made it personal. I, made it I can see why personal. she wanted to kill him. Dude, it was so personal that when she went into the afterlife, instead of seeing her brother, her mother, or anybody, she saw Killmonger. <laughs> and she's like, teach me, re- teach me revenge. <laughs> teach me revenge. <laughs> How I fuck up. <laughs> that see that was the moment when they could have crossed over with DC and like she sees Batman and she's like teach me vengeance <laughs> for real he's like you're already there Ow, what is the dead. award you're giving out <laughs> oh. oh wow oh, oh Brandon Jesus Brandon. ouch ouch mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to move forward, Al. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. Damn. Martha, right. what? Where's, oh. where, where's his mute button? <laughs> I got to get me Martha. one of those. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next, Why'd you say that name? <laughs> the next award is the Oh Hell Nah, the Scariest Visual Situation Award. And the first nominee is Ghostface in the de- in the deputy's home. Fake jump scares to a knife in the throat. Scream. Yeah, nope. That's crazy. <laughs> the horse stable scene with the aliens. And nope. All the creepy dark corners in rooms telling Dr. Carter to come here and smile. The ghost yelling at Finney and being pulled into the air, the black phone. And all the dead kids pop up on Gwen to help her find the grabber's home in the black phone. And the winner of the Oh Hell No award is the horse stable scene with the aliens in Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watching that movie in the theaters, when that scene happened, I was like, oh, now we're watching a fucking movie. Let's go. <laughs> oh, now. It wasn't being in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. It wasn't. It wasn't seeing Nicole Kidman and that stupid intro for the hundredth time. <laughs> Heartbreak feels good here. <laughs> That's in its own category. Heart feel, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. <laughs> I'm just glad they stopped doing the stupid. Oh, the 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 projector's still on nonsense. No, that, that still happens, that. my brother. <laughs> oh, they do. Oh yeah, man. It's just the last, crazy. Mo- uh, last movie. You I thought went to. this was black. This is blacker than black. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's still on. <laughs> <laughs> oh why, man! Why can't we go back to the popcorn on the roller coaster? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Lowe's song? You guys remember the Lowe's? Thank you, you for the- coming to Lowe's. Sit, Sit back, back and, and relax. relax. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the show. show. Yeah, old school. People don't know what Lowe's is anymore. That's crazy. But didn't they turn into AMC? Yeah, yeah they took like so. AMC took them over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Their Home man. Depot's competitor, actually. <laughs> 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 
Fuck you, Brett. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too good at this. <laughs> Sanj, what award you got there, my brother? I have the I'm not crying. You're crying award. <laughs> and our nominees are Dewey dies after going back to kill Ghostface in Scream 2022. Hmm. This next one, I'm you know, I'm just thinking about. Rooster and Maverick coming to an understanding and hugging it out. Top Gun, Maverick. God. That was that tough. Was, mm. that was tough. Oh, and this next one. Oh. T'Challa's funeral and quiet Marvel Studios logo with no fanfare. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Hell yeah. The group hug and Adam's dad telling her, telling older Adam how much he loves him. The Adam Project. And Evelyn won't give up and fights for her daughter, ending with a hug. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah. And the winner is, appropriately so, T'Challa's funeral and quiet Marvel Studios logo with no fanfare from Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I am very pleased. Yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. like, seeing all his scenes and everything and how they changed up the introduction to make it just about him and, and everything with no sound, anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking about it now, still, you know. Hey, I remember watching in the theater and, and it almost got me. I didn't, I, I, I teared up a little bit. I felt the water in there, but it, it did, nothing came down. <laughs> yeah. But what got me was the ending in that movie, man, with the little, with the. With oh, the yeah. They, they didn't song, have to yeah. do us like that. They really didn't have to do us <laughs> like that. <laughs> the next award for the 2022 releases is. The Mano a Mano Award for Best Fight in Movies This Year. And your nominees are Morbius versus Lucius in Morbius. Sonic versus Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Black Panther versus Namor. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Naniska versus Oba Ade, the Woman King. And Jake Sully versus Colonel Colonel Quar- I can't say Colonel sometimes. Colonel Quaritch. Avatar, The Way of Water, and your winner for the best Mano a Mano Award, <laughs> award, not award, <laughs> <laughs> with 50, 55.6, I can't talk today, maybe the wine, <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther versus Namor in the Black Panther Wakanda Forever, Shuri, go get it, girl, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Wakanda forever and she fries him. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to fry the fish. <laughs> and then he like lays down on the ground. He's like, all right, I get your point. I see what you're saying. <laughs> oh, man. You know, when I'm reading those categories, I'm surprised. It wasn't really a lot of like good fights. I mean, yeah, Black Panther versus Namor, you know, Shuri taking on Namor. That was pretty cool. But other than that, those other fights like Sonic versus Knuckles wasn't really a big fight. Um, and Knuckles kicked his ass. He definitely <laughs> beat the shit out of him. Oh my god! But yeah, hopefully there's a, some some good one on one fights this year, man. Like, you know, with, with John Wick four, I'm pretty sure we'll have oh, some okay. good ones, man. Do you have Yo, in John whole, Wick whole three, category. when he when he was slapping the horse, <laughs> <laughs> some of the horse would kick. Dude. That shit was the best. <laughs> that movie was so insane. Yeah. B, what award are you giving out now? I've got. The best comic book movie this year. Oh. And our nominees are The Batman, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, Black Adam, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I know which one is not winning this. <laughs> 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 There's a tie. There's always but, a tie. <laughs> between a tie? the Batman of and course. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Okay. If there All must right. be a tie, that's, <laughs> right. that's least, acceptable. Right. At least those two were the best comic book movies this year, at the very least. I think Black Panther Wakanda Forever really doesn't compare to the Batman, but... It was a good movie either way, but I'm 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 happy for the tie there. I mean, I would prefer the Batman win, of course, my own opinion, but 
you guys help us decide it's our four votes plus whoever else voted on it so thank you guys for voting and make things interesting every year <laughs> we're gonna turn this into an auto an, an, an autocracy next year we decide we pick i don't care which who voted we decide <laughs> <laughs> oh man al what's the award you're giving out the next award is the best drama movie this year and the nominees are the fallout uh, death on the nile don't worry darling the woman king glass onion a knives out mystery hmm. and the winner of as being the best drama movie of the year is oh wow glass onion a knives out mystery wow Okay, and that, and that shit just got released on Netflix like two yeah, weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, not that long. Ago. I mean, it was good, but I mean, just having seen Don't, Don't Worry, Darling, I would have gone for that one maybe over these. Yeah, uh, yeah, as a drama. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny that movie got a lot of shit from reviewers and, and critics. And I Don't I Worry, actually, Darling. Yeah, yeah. But I think it was more because of the outside it. shit going on with that movie. Because yeah, movie I think so. Was, because the movie was pretty good and interesting. I'm, I'm actually a little upset that we didn't see that in the theater. Yeah. I waited for HBO Max on that one. Not no, I, 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 I agree with you. You know, yeah. I, I saw it. And, yeah. That movie was crazy, man. Yeah. Sanj, what is the award you're giving out there? All right. So our next award here is the best action movie this year. Oh. And we had, you know what? The, there's a, there's a nice, uh, there's a nice field here. I like this field of, uh, of movies. And so, you know, winning amongst these other movies, you know, re- really means something. So our candidates are Uncharted. Top Gun Maverick, mm-hmm. Jurassic World Dominion, Everything Everywhere All at Once, and Bullet Train. And our winner, our hands down winner, hands with 52.2% of the vote. No question about it. Top Gun Maverick. Wow. I'm with it. I'm with it. I think it was a great movie, but action, I think I have to give it to Bullet Train, yeah. personally. I can see why you would say that. There was a lot more action yeah. in Bullet Train. Like Top Gun Maverick uh, had a lot more drama around, you know, the characters and everything. Mm-hmm. So I can see that, what you're saying. Yeah. But I mean, it's top. For me, it's, it's Top Gun. Top Gun. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's Top Gun. Yeah. Gotcha, man. We're up to our last two awards each. So let's get it. This get it, is get it, get it, get it. the best line in movies for 2022. We've got, I'm Sydney fucking Prescott. Of course I have a gun. <laughs> Scream 2022. That was pretty. That that, that was yeah, yeah. that was pretty awesome. That was like the first. It was movie so saw. cheesy. It was awesome. That's yeah. why. <laughs> uh, Chaney Tatum, is this the sex thing? Bullet Train. <laughs> yes. Don't do mean things on bikes. The Lost City. <laughs> it's a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth. Glass onion, a knives out mystery. That that was that was hard body that line, and nope. <laughs> Every time OJ was in a tough spot with the alien, he would say nope <laughs> <laughs> from the movie Nope. And surprisingly, the winner of the best line in movies for 2022 is: "It's a dangerous thing to mistake speaking without thought for speaking the truth." Mm-hmm. Mm. That's deep. Yeah, man. That's very layers. relevant. <laughs> very, very much so. Wow. I agree, though, man. But for a movie that just came out, surprised it won. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. That's really awesome. People, Listen, people, whatever's fresh in their memory, man. Yeah. <laughs> B, what's the second to last award you got there? I've got the best kill in movies this year. Mm-hmm. Ooh, best kill. Okay. Mm-hmm. And our nominees are... Sam gives Richie his own medicine and repeatedly stabs him in Scream 2022. (laughs) Hangman comes in at the last second to blow up the enemy MiG in Top Gun Maverick. The thief robbing the bank in sandals acting like a douchebag gets run over and killed in ambulance. (laughs) Finney gives the dead kids one last word on the phone and then chokes out the grabber, the black phone. That was it for me. The wolf (laughs) throws his knife at Ladybug. It deflects the briefcase, stabbing himself. He falls and breaks his neck on the briefcase, bullet train. <laughs> Poor bad bunny. <laughs> Poor bad bunny. Poor bad bunny. No more and VIP. The- <laughs> Not more. <laughs> and the winner is, surprisingly, Hangman comes in at the last second to blow up the enemy MIG. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that coming. I would win for Finney. Yeah, you like Finney, huh? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that was so good. That was a good kill. Yeah. There are a lot of Top Gun Maverick fans in our voting pool there this year. <laughs> it seems to be the uh, it seems Sons to be the one that's running times. away with it this year. <laughs> <laughs> Al, what's the award you're giving out there? All right, the one I got is the best action sequence in a film this year. Okay, action sequence. Yeah. Let's go. So the the first nominee is the Raptors get loose in Jurassic World Dominion. That was pretty cool. Uh, the office fight scene and everything everywhere all at once. Mm-hmm. Maverick and Rooster's escape and Top Gun Maverick. Mm. Nauru versus the Predator versus the French fur traders prey. The end fight sequence from the Coyote Station to the town bullet train. Yeah. And the winner for the best action sequence in a movie this year is Maverick and Rooster's escape. Top Gun Maverick. Nah. Racking up yeah, wins. Of, yeah. Yeah. Top, Top gun. gun. I didn't expect that last <laughs> sequence, too. <laughs> that shit turned into a Metal Gear Solid movie <laughs> all at the end. I was like, wait, they're going to show us them escape? I thought they died. <laughs> v, I've been doing it in cat voice the whole time. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Sanj, your award, my friend. All right. The oh shit, <laughs> shocking scene award, <laughs> <laughs> and our nominees are Braddock double crosses Santiago Moncada and kills him in Uncharted. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did not. Maverick's trial run done in under two minutes and fifteen seconds in Top Gun Maverick. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Watching Avatar two and three D. Avatar, The Way of Water. And uh, every surprise actor that shows up in the movie Bullet Train. <laughs> Cam and Will take out the officer's spleen in the ambulance, and it bursts. The ambulance. And the winner is, surprise, surprise, Maverick's trial run done in under two minutes and 15 seconds Damn. in Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> I would not. I did not vote for that for this. For Who this was your oh shit moment? It science? wasn't. It wasn't that shocking. I mean, with the I, every surprise actor in, in Bullet Train, it was such like every time, every time, and and then at the end, Michael Michael Shannon. What? <laughs> your white what? death. The white and then I'm like, death. yes, absolutely, Michael Shannon. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. I think we all sat in the theater and we were like, you know. He would be the white death. He would be the white death. <laughs> we will find him. We will find him. If, if there was if there was a white guy that was going to become the greatest samurai on earth, it's Michael, Michael Shannon. Shannon. Not Tom Cruise. That's sure. Not Tom Cruise. That was a shitty movie. <laughs> oh, that I enjoyed, man. by the way, even though it was a shitty movie. <laughs> they tried so hard. You no. know what? I had to, but Ken Watanabe's um, performance in that oh, movie was awesome. Ken. Oh, yeah, that was a great movie. Last Man time spent around. whole life looking for perfect lotus blossom, and when dying, realized they were all perfect blossom. Deep, deep. <laughs> <laughs> Last award for Hav. This is the, they did their damn thing for a great cast award. That means they, a whole ensemble of people. And this one, Jesus, there's some good ones here. We got Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Paul Dano, Colin Farrell, Jeffrey Wright, and John Turturro, and Andy Serkis playing in The Batman. Then we have Daniel Craig, Edward Norton, Kate Hudson, Catherine Hahn, Dave Bautista, and my man, Leslie Oldham Jr., Glass Onion, a Knives Out Mystery. Then we have Kenneth Branagh, Gal Gadot, Army Hammer, Tome Bateman, Emma Mickey, Letitia Wright in Death on the Nile. Woo! Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Brian Tariq Henry, Michael Shannon, Bad Bunny, Zazzy Beat, Sandra Bullock, and Channing Tatum in The Bullet Train. And your last nominee, Letitia Wright, Angela Bassett, Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Danai Guerrero, Tenak Huerta, and Martin Freeman in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I would give an award to the entire <laughs> fucking nominees here. These I guys- want to give you an award for being able to get through that and not lose and, and not passing out. Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just got I got to get one thing wrong in there. That's amazing that I got all of them right. All right, and uh, this is it. Kind of sucks, but I also kind of just said they all deserve an award because they each one of these casts were great. Yeah, those ensembles. Were Except incredible. you. <laughs> there was a three way tie. Wow. Oh. And wow. the three way tie. I'm not saying all the names of the cast. I'm just gonna say the movie. <laughs> it was a Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Bullet Train and Black Panther Wakanda Forever, all three casts yeah. won the award for they did their damn thing. Great now, cast can you award. Can you imagine that menage a trois? <laughs> <laughs> that is Sign a- me up. <laughs> yeah, not for nothing, man. I, I love that these movies are now really concentrating on who they're bringing into these movies because it just seems like those that, those were just great people to put all together in a movie, man. Yeah, they all worked. Honestly, they, and it all worked there, man. But that was fantastic, man. B, what is your last award for tonight? The one that I have is the best actor this year. Mm-hmm. We have Ryan Reynolds from The Adam Project, Brad Pitt, Bullet Train, Tom Cruise from Top Gun Maverick, Mason Thames, he played Finney in The Black Phone, and Daniel Kalua, uh, he played OJ in Nope. And our winner is Tom Cruise. What what can you say? <laughs> he played Tom Cruise. <laughs> he played Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Top Gun taking it this year. How about You know what though? I will say that scene with him and Val Kilmer. Oh my god, that, that was, was fantastic. Yeah. That was very well. That, that was, was awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anybody else that really, like... I mean, listen, I thought Brad Pitt did great in the movie, man. But, yeah, Tom Cruise, man. I would I would have put up Tinoc Huerta for actor, actor yeah. of the year. He killed for his it. his portrayal. Of, he killed uh, it. He did no great, more. man. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Al, what is your last award of the night? So, my last award here is the best actress this year in a movie. And our nominees are Florence Pugh as Alice and Don't Worry Darling. Yeah, she did the thing. Michelle Yeoh uh, as Evelyn Wang, Everything Everywhere All at Once. She did her thing. Viola Davis as Nanesca, The Woman King. She did her thing. Amber <laughs> Midthunder as Naru, Prey. She did it. She definitely did her thing. <laughs> and Letitia Wright as Shuri, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. She was okay. Yeah. She did her thing. And the winner... <laughs> As the best actress this year in a movie goes to Michelle Yeoh as Evelyn Wang in Everything Everywhere wow. All at Once. Wow. I'll live with it. Evelyn. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Michelle Yeoh. I mean, listen, I, if you guys saw the movie, I did see the movie after all the hype it got. I didn't enjoy the movie as much as everybody else did. But for her to do the roles that she did and all the different multiverse people of herself, that, that was kind of crazy. She did good. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Mm. <laughs> I'll concur. <laughs> <laughs> Sanj, you're going to finish off the night here, brother. What is the I, last award you're giving out, which I can only assume is? The best movie we've seen this year. Oh, man. <laughs> well, let's see. Our nominees are Bullet Train, Top Gun Maverick, The Batman. Mm-hmm. The Black Phone, and everything, everywhere, all at once. So, being that I have the honor of doing the last uh, award of the night, I'm going to finish my drink before <laughs> I enlighten them. No problem. I mean, B, any any uh, suggestions that it's not Top Gun Maverick? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would say The Black Phone. I, I thought that yeah, movie... That was your best movie? I feel like that was it for me, next to Top Gun. How about for you, Al? What's the best movie for you this year? Yeah, no, I mean, I would love it to be Bullet Train um, because that was one of the few movies this year where I walked out like having genuinely enjoyed myself throughout the entire movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just I know it's going to be Top Gun. Sanj, yourself, before you find out? It was hard to decide like what like the best movie was this year. I mean, yeah. You know I me. Mean? Anytime there's a Batman movie, it's hard. Know, right? It's hard to say not the Batman movie, especially, especially when, when it was right. so <laughs> right. But yeah, especially when it was so well done. But then, like, 
I got to concur with Al Bullet Train. Like, it was so entertaining and it's such a great, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't, it was a new story. Like, you know, it wasn't a story yeah. we'd, we'd seen before. Like, we know Batman's story. I mean, they, they can come out with as many <laughs> new stories as they want, but, you know, we know the story, right? Yeah. Um, the Top Gun Maverick was incredible as well. That was such a, that was such a good such movie. Such a surprising movie for You know, me, Wakanda though. Forever. Oh, jeez. Yeah. You know, there was so much to choose from, but I, I would, I would have to go, you know, with Al and say, you know, bullet train yeah out of, in that list just because it was fresh you know and and it was freshly entertaining that way gotcha. you know so um what about you huh to be honest with you man i mean bullet train to me was awesome but i have to give it to top gun maverick man that movie was that's the only movie i really feel like i regretted not seeing twice in the theaters you know and 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 that movie is just the way it was written, the way that it played out in the theaters and the movie, absolutely love that experience, man. You know, the only reason Bullet Train is a better experience for me is because I watched it with you guys and we were fucking losing it in the theaters. Yeah, so. I, I, that, that, that definitely helped <laughs> as well. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. So now the um, we do have a winner. However, we did not have a movie take the majority of the votes. So I'll start by giving you guys the runner-up and the runner-up for the best movie we've seen this year was everything everywhere all at once with 22.7 percent of the vote wow okay right okay right um and our winner with 45.5 percent of the vote for best movie we've seen this year top gun maverick yeah no surprise there mm-hmm. top gun <laughs> oh top gun. wow Meow, 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 me
the fact that, you know, it dealt with Chadwick Boseman's passing. So I'm surprised that um, Wakanda Forever didn't didn't get more. Yeah, definitely. A lot of nominations, but it didn't take the cake on, on a lot of the awards there. Yeah. Uh, B, how about for yourself, man? Any surprises? Anything that stood out? Um, I'm actually upset that one of my favorite moments of movies didn't make it this year. Um, oh. That's Alfred waking up in the hospital and Bruce being there. And he was like, oh, my God, Bruce, you came. And he was just like, yeah, how you feeling, Alfred? I'm good. So why the fuck did you lie to me? <laughs> <laughs> Not even, kid. There was no, he woke, he's like, oh, you lied to me. <laughs> like, he legit just woke up from his freaking, like, you know, he's been out for like a week. <laughs> we, we all tell lies, Master Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Best moment. <laughs> Your father was a good man. <laughs> uh, can you tell we love movies, people? Yeah. Listen, that's what we're in for for next year. And I hope that you guys voted your nominee one. And if not, at least you got to hear us talk about what we thought of those moments and everything like that. So definitely you come back for the next and for like, the fifth annual release for next year. But our next podcast will be a Megan review. It's a Blumhouse horror movie coming out this week. Comes out on Thursday for all those people in the know. If not, you can watch it over the weekend. But we will be reviewing Megan next uh, next podcast either on Sunday or Monday. And uh, listen, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Or if you're listening to us on the podcast app, hit the plus symbol. That way we come up to you every week so you can hear our conversations about movies, movie news, movie rumors, movie casting. Movies, movies, movies. We thank you guys for listening today. Saying goodnight is my brother B. Adios, everybody. My boy Sanj. Good night, everybody. It was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Our man in the chair, Al. Have a good night, everybody. And myself, Hop again, saying, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Keep listening. Subscribe. Plus on that playlist. We'll see you on the next podcast. Till next time.